Alrighty, so this week's uh, best of my related uh, job is uh, the uh, American Bosch Magneto, which uh, fires the engine. Um, if you couldn't tell, I've got a cold, so if, you, if I sound strange, that's why. Now, when I got the engine, the Magneto was already torn down, taken apart, and, you know, it wasn't taken apart in the best fashion. You can see we've got an issue here. That's what it's supposed to look like. I do have the parts, the broken off pieces over here, the pop metal. Also, uh, part of the insulator on the uh, collector ring is broken away there. I have that. I don't know if we're going to be able to repair that. We'll see. But in general, this magneto is in, in pretty rough shape. You're going to need a lot of cleaning and a lot of, uh, a lot of help. But, uh, see, uh, see the stamp there? AB American Bosch. So that's nice. Um, got the uh, armature here with the condenser in the bottom there. You can kind of see it. That's going to have to come out and be replaced. Just as a precaution. So I don't have to do it later. Might as well just do it now. Test the coil. I have no idea if that coil is good or not. Uh, this is a high tension magneto. Uh, so it's going to fire a spark plug. Generates high voltage for the spark. So that's why that insulator is very important to have. That insulation ring there. Because it's actually a high voltage uh, collector ring. Which actually goes to this insulator and this little brush which rides on it, one little brush and your spark plug wire just put, goes inside there but anyway bearings are, uh, are not too bad gotta clean the grease out of them the old grease but uh, they should free up and be pretty tight uh, the magnet, the magnet's very strong here so I only have this out for show but if, but beings, I'm not working on it right now. I'm going to put it back in. But really, a, a magnet has not lost a charge at all, so that's nice. Got a little points assembly here, which uh, rides on the back, the tail end of the armature shaft. It's got a little key right there, keyway there, and that uh, sits in there somehow. Get it lined up. There it goes, and the the uh, the points little uh, trigger there rides on this uh, piece of steel in here, which you can see it's really nice here, but uh, it's pitted up pretty bad. So I'm going to see if I if I can smooth that out a little bit, or a lot actually, because if if that's rough right there, that's just going to eat that little. Um, it's not mica, but it's uh, like phenolic strip. It's going to eat that right up and ruin those points real quick. So, here's the uh, little coupler, which rides on the front. This tapered fit right here. That's what drives the magneto. You can see it's got it's got four holes in it. It uh, that sits right on here on the engine. I replaced these two pins. That just sits like that. Coupled it together. So. That's that, get the points cover, couple there, it's, it's not related to this hardware, I don't even know what all this stuff goes to. But uh, one thing interesting I found when I pulled these, you know, when I got the magneto, uh, it was screwed onto this plate right here, which is like an adapter plate to fit onto the engine. Well, I figured I'd take the magneto off of that so I could clean it up easier. When I took it off, I found this. The Bessemer, Grove City, Pennsylvania. Pretty neat. Uh, I don't imagine this was originally a magneto uh, adapter plate. You can see the magneto has to sit on this plate here, and then you see these little four little screw holes are the actual magneto, and they don't line up with these holes for sure. So I wonder if this plate was mounted somewhere else on the engine, you know. Uh, maybe on this door here that would have been right here. Because it's strange, the only thing that says the Bessemer, the only thing that identifies the manufacturer on this engine uh, would be hidden underneath the Magneto right here. 
where you could never see it. So that's interesting. But uh, I can't think if I want to uh, just put this back as the adapter plate and hide that, uh, you know, that insignia. Or maybe mount it on this door once I make the door. I don't know. But uh, that's the only identifier on this engine except for the serial number, which is right here. 1498. Looks like an 8. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm glad I found that. It's pretty nice to have a, you know, an original plate like that. Even if it was repurposed as a magneto adapter. So, keep you updated as it goes. Alright, well here's an update on the uh, what's going on with the magneto. Got it uh, disassembled. A little bit farther. Cleaned the points up. The points are outer. That came out pretty nice. The points cleaned up well. Everything's nice and tight. Um, all the insulators are good. The little spring steel is uh, band is good. I cleaned the brush up. I tried to find a new brush, but um, the the uh, local store did not have uh, the correct diameter. So I'm just gonna reuse that when I cleaned it up, and it, it's all right. Got the uh, rotor taken apart here. This uh, brass end cap comes off of here, and inside of that, uh, yeah, the condenser. Condenser tests completely bad, completely uh, open circuit. So, gonna have to uh, replace this. What I think, what I think that you know, the popular idea is to unsolder this uh, back plate, and pull it off, and uh, to gut the condenser and uh, replace it with you know just an ordinary uh, electronic uh, capacitor. Then you put it all back together and you save the uh, save the case so it looks original. It's a uh, United American Bosch Corporation, made in USA. Uh, then I get to the rotor itself. Did some testing. Uh, unfortunately, the secondary winding is completely open circuit. Um, no continuity whatsoever. So this coil is shot right here. The uh, primary side, which is these two leads here, that tests normal, which you know they always do. But the secondary side is completely open circuit here. So it looks like this mag is a, another candidate for a, re a rewind, like I did with the uh, Briggs and Stratton Model F a couple months ago. So that's all I'm gonna do for today with this magneto. It's a, it's, it's about a 75 degree day out. The sun's shining, so I'm gonna go out and. Uh, crank up a couple hit and miss engines for the first time this year so we'll leave this for another day and maybe uh, I think it's supposed to rain this week so maybe I'll get a little bit of work on it then but so that's it for now